Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be the reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Taurus. Alright, Taurus, this is going to be for the 3rd of December to the 9th of December, 2018. Spirit, what do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Alright, you guys, Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Spirit. Sun, Moon, and Rising. For Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. All right. All ready. All right, Taurus, give me just a second. Get all the cards laid out. All right. to pull an energy oracle as well. So, Spirit, what do you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for December the 3rd to the 9th, 2018, Taurus? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. And you guys, I'm going to pull one Adam and Dora card as well. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Taurus for the 3rd through the 9th of December 2018. Taurus. Alright. Alright, you guys. Alright, Taurus. So... We're going to start, this is your spread, these are your clarifiers. We're going to start at the heart of the situation of the week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one with this because this is the situation and this is what's crowning you, this is what's going on in your mind. Um, I definitely see, Taurus, where um, you're stuck in your head, um, you're, you're, you're feeling like you don't know what to do. There's a lot of mental anguish, a lot of um, negative energy and thoughts going through your mind. Um, I mean, this 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 girl here, she's the chains are barely. I mean, she could break free, and you know, she could get away. She could take the blindfold off, but she's refusing to. She's just stuck in this, and I'm feeling like for some of you, Taurus, that there has been. Um, a recent heartbreak, um, a situation where um, you got your heart broke or you broke someone's heart. Um, it can go both ways. Um, I do see heartbreak here and pain and loss. And I, I see where you're kind of stuck. You're still stuck in this, in this. And I want you to know that, you know, you it's, it's okay to have heartbreak and pain to feel it um, we have to go through those feelings and energies in order to be able to learn and grow from them and then um, come out of this um, it's very important not to stay stuck in this energy Taurus um, it can get you down it can get you depressed um, it, it, it can just uh, and I can tell by looking at your spread here, you have wonderful things to come and offers coming in as well. And what you may not be aware of yet is this offer coming in. Um, this may not have been uh, literally someone breaking your heart. This could have been a loss of something that meant something to you, um, whether it be valuables or... Um, it could be just however it resonates with you. But you do have this offer, this Knight of Cups uh, coming in, right? And he's going to offer you um, it, this is this cup. And this can represent love. Uh, it does not have to be a, uh, 
a relationship, this uh, you know, like a, a man and woman love relationship. This can be friends. This can be a family member bringing in an opportunity of love, a, a, a gift to you, you know, um, as well as with what's benefiting you right now in this situation. It's really funny is that we have the Page of Cups too, and this is benefiting you. So I really, I'm, I really feel like that this could be the same person coming in, possibly. Um, and this is uh, ca um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you know, the cups. But I, I really feel like this is, uh, could be the same person that we're dealing with. It could be two different people. Uh, but I really feel like it's the same. Um, they're coming in, and, and it's going to benefit you. This cup is going to benefit you, Uh very nicely because and this is going to open up an opportunity for you uh, because when this cup is presented to you and this person comes in and makes this offer your hopes right your hopes um whatever was keeping you stuck in your head and feeling this heartbreak um taurus it's it's going to alleviate this you're going to be able to break free from this mindset from this heartache because it, you know, here's the star card, right? And this is your your hopes, uh, your dreams. Um, it's, I love this card. It, it's beautiful. But it's kind of like, it's. It, I really feel like it's saying right here, you know. I'm trying to, uh, the word I'm looking for here, Taurus. Dawn of a new day. It's, it's. You know, there's, a, I mean, you've had some heartache, you've had some uh, mental anguish here, and this is your hopes and your dreams, and this is, uh, you know, this is like telling you that, you know, there's, you know, it's on the way. There's, there's this person that's coming into your life. It's going to offer you something that's going to make you be able to move past this, this three of swords, right, and this eight of swords. And it's what you've been hoping for. It's what you've been dreaming for, Taurus. This is um, th this is what you've been waiting on. Uh, this could have been a fear that you had as well, that you were afraid this wasn't coming. This could have been an offer or a challenge that you thought, well, it's not going to happen. It's not coming now. And you could have been heartbroken over it or, you know, stuck in your head over it. And now it's here. This offer is here. This very well could be an offer of love and uh, for from someone, um, like I said, because, I mean, but you're still standing here, and I don't know if this Nine of Pentacles is showing up because you're up in your head, and because you did have heartbreak, you, someone did break your heart, betrayed you, and now you have a new love offer coming in, and you have this fear because, you know, you've proven that, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is basically you you can be just fine right, right you know, alone. You don't have to have someone. You're, you're fine by yourself. You are well-to-do. You're fine. You have everything you need. Um, and you might be stuck kind of feeling like I may be in fear. Is, is that what's going on, Taurus? Are you afraid to accept this offer? Because you've come out of this, you know what heartbreak is, and you don't want to go through it again, and you just want to do you. Because, the, I mean, this is a, a Virgo card, but this is also any earth sign as well. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is your energy right here, Taurus. Um, so what I'm saying is, you know, is there, is there, are you holding off because you don't want to get hurt? That's what I. That's what I'm feeling here, and I feel like there's a. You know, you feel like there's so many decisions or options on the table, and maybe you don't know which direction to go in right now. This, you know, looking at this Seven of Cups, maybe there is two offers of love coming in here with these two uh, different with this Knight and this Page. Maybe that is two other offers, but you're still like got this. Or maybe one of these is the one that has hurt you as well. That, that could be too, um, Taurus. This could be one of these. Could be someone that was the one that caused this pain and this betrayal and this 
this feeling. Um, and you're just like, and now you have someone new coming in offering you a cup. And you're like, uh, and now you're feeling overwhelmed. And maybe you just want to stay right here, Taurus, by yourself for right now to do you. Maybe that's what you're thinking or that's what's going on with you. Because then when we get down here, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, and this is a beautiful card. This is a card of abundance. This is happiness. Love happiness. It just feeling like your cup is just overfilled, you guys. You just, you know, enjoying life, you know, and it's that nine. And I really see right here, Taurus, where you might be like, you know what? I'm going to decide to just do me right now because I'm happy. I'm comfortable. Um, I, I'm, I mean, I'm spirits like nudging me to say that i i mean many of you you're you're gonna prove or you feel like you've got to prove to yourself or maybe to someone else that you can have happiness and and not be with someone or it's gonna take you you know you you just want to do you right now you don't want someone I, I don't know why that message is coming through but this even if it's just for one person then then that's amazing but I, I i do i just i feel that very strongly and for many of you like i said this could be one of the people that's broken your heart and you're like no i'm just gonna do myself or i'm thinking about maybe starting up with, the, with this new cup that's coming in maybe you thought um this offer wouldn't come in or you know maybe this is what you've been wishing for maybe you broke up with someone in order to have this new love and opportunity come in Taurus, to have this Nine of Cups down here. Let's see what the Energy Oracle has to say. We have the third chakra, Archangel Camille. All right, you guys. So this is literally, this is your solar plexus right here. This is, um, this is your energy of, I mean, inspiration, on fire, um, going with your gut, um, this is like what this is means to me and with this reading right here doing this is that right now it's what this is showing me that you are in this mode right here. You are in control over your emotions, what you want. You do have decisions and options on the table, Taurus, to make a choice. And, you know, you've got opportunities coming in and you know this. And I really feel like if you're not at this point yet from the feeling of betrayal and heartbreak and the uh, the mental pain that you've you know, been going through, if you're not here yet, you will be soon. This angel's coming in. He, you know, it's, this is letting you know that you're going to be revitalized, that, you know, your energy, you know, you're going to be able to go out and take the world by your hand, you know. You're going to regain that that freedom that you felt like you lost with this, the strength and the the loss that you that you had with this. You're going to regain control. That's what I'm getting here. Um, it's on the way. If it hasn't already um, hit you with it. it, it's there. I mean, that's a very positive energy that comes in, and it's it strengthens you. And it gives you inspiration to move forward. And you have this sphinx, all right? So choose your words carefully. All right. So what I'm getting with this, with your reading here, Taurus, all right, you have two offers coming in. I think it's, this is going to be a reminder, you know, for you guys that, you know, either you've said or or got yourself in this mind trap or someone you allowed someone to get yourself in this mind trap and with this three of swords remember how it felt when it was done to you and you know maybe there's a lesson here that needed to be learned with this uh maybe to you know make sure we think before we speak or act or Make sure that, you know, just because we've been hurt or done a certain way that we don't do it to someone else unintentionally and then it causes them this. You understand what I mean, Taurus? 
So, I mean, and this also with the Sphinx, just be careful with how you communicate with people, you know, and how you come in contact with others. Make sure that you're clear on what it is that you want and what it is that you seek with others that you have that that's in your life. Make sure you're clear about what it is. Well, you guys, thank you so much, Taurus. This was a lovely reading. I'm, I'm glad I was able to do this um, reading with you guys. I see it all working out wonderfully. I see a lot of strength being gained this week. And I, I see you like Taurus, and you guys are tough. You're, you're tough. You're firm. You know, you can bounce. You can rebound and bounce right back up. You know, and that's, you know, one thing that I admire about you guys, that you're very strong, strong individuals. So, thank you so much for watching, and please comment and let me know how this uh, resonates with you, and thank you so much, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.